Hey you guys, it's Kevin. So today I'm going to be doing a video that has been pretty requested over the years. I've never actually talked about this experience because I like to call myself a humble person. I'm very down to earth and I'm level-headed, okay? Even though I was on Jimmy Kimmel twice. Not once, twice. I'm very down to earth, okay? And I don't think any other YouTuber has accomplished that. I'm very down to earth. Just saying. So yeah, today I'm here to brag and... <laughs> You know I'm kidding, right? I'm not actually here to brag, but I just wanted to make this video for you because it's one of the suggestions that come up when you type my name, which is kind of weird, and today Jimmy Kimmel is hosting the Oscars for the second year in a row, which is a pretty big deal. This all went down my senior year of high school, October 2014, and it was around the time when my grandma and I were getting a lot of media buzz because... Like, I just confessed to her that I was filming her for three years without her knowing, and people just thought that was interesting. I don't even... Like, I would turn on the news one day, and then they would be talking about us. So one day I was just scrolling through my email, and I saw a Jimmy Kimmel subject, and I was expecting it to just be an ad. Click on it. It's an invitation to the show. Like, for me to, like, talk on the show. And it wasn't going to be an in-person interview. It was going to be a Skype interview, which he does a lot in his show, which kind of the knockoff version of being on Jimmy Kimmel. Like, when I say I was on it, I'm very down-to-earth. People were expecting me to, like, sit on the couch, which... Not that fancy. So, without any hesitation at all, obviously, I was like, yes, when are we doing this? And then they sent me a laptop computer and a special webcam, and I wasn't allowed to talk to my grandma about this because he was going to challenge me something. You're going to see in the episode when I show you. Also, something you should know before watching the interview, I had no idea when he was going to pop up. You know when, like, you're Skyping or FaceTiming somebody and you have a square in the corner that you see yourself, and the rest of the screen you see who you're FaceTiming with? Well, for me, the person that I was FaceTiming with was the show. So when I went live, the whole screen just turned into my face at some points. So it was pretty nerve wracking. I just want to put that out there because it caught me off guard and no one told me that that was going to happen. Yeah, so now that we're all on the same page, I'm going to watch the interview, which I haven't seen in three years. I'm not just saying that to you to make this video more authentic. I'm being serious. Like I've never watched this just in my free time. And maybe you're watching it for the first time because it was on Jimmy Kimmel's YouTube channel, but then it got taken off. Kind of rude, Jimmy, if you're watching this. I want to know the reasoning behind you taking me off. I'm going to scooch over here so you guys can watch along with me. This is a 17 year old kid from Connecticut has been doing some excellent work on YouTube. His name is Kevin Droniak. What Kevin does is he That's rides me. around with his grandmother, his grandma Will, and instead of just driving in silence like most teenagers do with their grandmas, well, here he is making his grandma think Miley Cyrus is a girl at his school. So Classic. remember that girl Miley I talked to you about how she was in the hospital? Yes, yes. Is she home? Yeah, she's home. Like, her hips healed. She's, she's walking again. Okay. Good. Sounds like a really cool high school, but... Kevin's posted a bunch of these videos. I've seen most of them. This one is one of my favorites. Here's Kevin asking his grandmother's thoughts on which lucky lady he should take to the prom. I think it'd be cool to go with Katy Perry. Who's Karen? Who's that? This girl from chemistry. She's kind of weird, but... Oh, you don't need a weirdo. I know, but she's... <laughs> the only thing about Katy Perry is that sometimes she, like, brings fireworks to school. <gasps> yeah, I know. I know. Sorry. Pretty, I love this guy. Kind of Okay, we need to talk about my eyebrow situation. I'm not making fun of myself, but there's such a big gap. And I'm still doing it four years later. Surprised by how popular, some of them have millions of views by how popular these videos got. Yeah, I never thought that it would get this big. Like, I thought it would just be like a small amount, but then it's growing so much. And now I'm on Jimmy Come Alive, which is really crazy. At 17 years old, shouldn't you be driving your grandma instead of the other way around? True. Yeah, I got my license this year, but I think it's more fun when she drives because she's more like concentrated and like, I think it'd be better if I drive because sometimes she almost kills us, drives off the road and like, <laughs> still true. Like, objects and she hit a mailbox last time we filmed. So, so that wasn't true. I don't know why I said that. I guess I just felt the need to say something, but she's never hit a mailbox. Now, now, Kevin, you're very good at what you do. I'd like to present you with a challenge. Thanks, have Jimmy. You seen the movie Frozen? Yeah, I have. Okay. I 
So what I'd like you to do is shoot a new video where you tell your grandma about your day, but I'd like you to use the plot from the movie Frozen. Okay. All right, we'll, like we'll have you back on the show next week, and we'll show the results of that, all right? Okay. Wait, before you go, can we, can we take a selfie? Uh, yeah. yeah. The cringe has exactly? arrived. Hold up, hold up the peace sign. The peace sign? Why all did right. I think this was okay? <laughs> Did I do it? Yeah, we got it. Am I in? Do not do this kind of stuff on a Skype interview. <laughs> got a pretty big applause just then. You guys didn't just hear that. I'm very down to earth. So yeah, besides the cringe selfie at the end, I feel like it wasn't too bad. Yeah, so you can actually watch the video I made for Jimmy that played on the second time I was on Jimmy Kimmel. It's on my channel, but I can't find the second Skype interview anywhere on the internet. As you can imagine, I felt really cool going to school the next day. I was pretty gassed up. And the first thing that people would ask me is why I didn't close my closet door beforehand. And the people at Jimmy Kimmel actually told me to open it to make it seem more like a room. And I got a pretty feisty phone call from my grandma that day because she found out from someone at the senior center that we went on Jimmy Kimmel and I didn't tell her about it. But when the second episode aired, she came over my house and we watched it together and she slept over. So it was nice. We made up for it, you know? Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video. Even though I didn't really do much reacting, I kind of just wanted to watch it with you. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The button's down there. And I'll see you guys next time.